Warm greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Almost forgot what day it was. <sighs> Hope you all are staying safe in your homes. I know some states have a uh, stay-at-home order. Right now I'm looking at breaking news. It's Florida, Mississippi, Georgia, Pennsylvania. So please adhere to those orders if you can. Be safe out there. Wear your gloves. Wear your mask. And if you don't wear the gloves, just please keep your hands washed. Right now, I want to bring you some information from CNN World. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but anyway, it says, Shenzhen becomes first Chinese city to ban consumption of cats and dogs. This was updated today at 9.20 a.m. Under the title, you'll see a picture of some protesters, and it says, Chinese animal rights activists stage a protest calling for people to refrain from eating cats and dogs. Lord have mercy, the devil's alive. Shenzhen in southeastern China has become the first city in the country to ban the consumption of, dog, of cats and dogs, the government announced Thursday. Under new rules, which will come into effect May 1st, the government said it will be illegal to eat animals raised as pets. In February, following the coronavirus outbreak, China passed a law to ban the consumption of wild animals. Okay. Now Shenzhen will prohibit the consumption of state-protected wild animals and other terrestrial wild animals taken from the wild, as well as captive, bred, and farmed terrestrial wild species. In addition, the consumption of animals raised as pets, such as cats and dogs, will also be banned. Animals that can be consumed include pig, cattle, sheep, donkey, rabbit, chicken, duck, goose, pigeon, quail, as well as aquatic animals who are not banned by other laws or regulations. If convicted, they will be subject to a fine of 30 times of the wild animal's value if the animal is above the value of, uh, I guess it's 10,000 CNY, which would be 1,400 U.S. dollars, announced authorities. The coronavirus outbreak is thought to have started at a wildlife market at the Chinese city of Wuhan, and authorities have acknowledged they need to bring the lucrative wildlife industry under control if it is to prevent another outbreak. I concur. However, ending the trade will be hard. The cultural roots of China's use of wild animals run deep, not just for food, but also for traditional medicine, clothing, ornaments, and even pets. This isn't the first time Chinese officials have tried to contain the trade. In 2003, civets, mongoose-type creatures, were banned and culled in large numbers after it was discovered. They likely transferred the SARS virus to humans. The selling of snakes was also briefly banned in Guangzhou after the SARS outbreak. But today, dishes using the animals are still eaten in parts of China. And that said, information is brought to you by CNN World. Now, when I first saw this earlier, first thing I thought was, how are you going to regulate uh, people not eating their own pets? Let's say they went and bought a dog, cat, whatever. How are you going to know they ate their own dog or cat? Excuse me for this commentary, but we're just keeping it 100. Um, because what do you have? CCC. CCTV in their homes. I know they have elaborate security surveillance in China. They watch everything. They're scanning you to see if you have the coronavirus. They're very up to par on their surveillance and technology. Using, Having you use your phone to buy things in the store, which some of you think that's the mark of the beast, but that's another subject. Anyway, the point I'm making is, how are you going to be able to regulate People eating their own pets. Now, one could say, because they're so radical-minded over there with the government, perhaps you have to get permission to even have a cat or a dog or a snake, rabbit, which is so ever. And I wouldn't doubt it. If they can tell you how many kids you can have, they can surely tell you if you can have a dog or a cat and how many, and you got to register the animal and keep up with the shots of veterinary, this and that, and let the government know if your pet is sick, ill, or dead. Ooh, my stars. I've already thought this, that we are surely likely to have another outbreak, <sighs> even while this one is at play, Miss Corona. Yes, I call her a she. So that has been my fear, is that whether we get this one underway, 
get it taken care of, vaccination, drugs, cure. Let's say years down the road, everything's back to normal. And then another outbreak takes place. It could be here in America. It could be wherever. Now what? What do we do then? We're right back to the same scenario. And if it's, if it's a matter of practicing with these wild animals, that's where the problem is. Who's going to control the usage of the animals for eating luxury goods, medicine, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in China, the pangolin, in parts of China, let's say, are used for luxury goods, medicine. They crush the scales to make it down into a powder form to treat arthritis, which I brought you that information in a previous video. And studies say, excuse me, that there is no scientific proof that that works, but that was just that article's opinion. Don't make me go on record for nothing because I don't know nothing about what's going on over in China, going on over there, what they do, don't do. But I'd always heard rumors about cats and dogs and them eating them. And the fact that I love Chinese food, grew up on it in, growing up in Chicago. I am a shrimp fried rice queen. Let me tell you, the buffet just don't sound as good as it used to sound with all this going on. And the pictures of pangolins. Monkey, dog, cat, skint up on the table like a uh, barbecue by Felicia. I can't stand it. No disrespect to the Chinese, the Africans, because for some of you who have not watched the YouTube video, they sell the pangolin in open wet markets in Africa because that is where also the pangolin is found, Sub-Saharan Africa. A little information for you. So you see, they didn't capture this pangolin in China to where it's endangered, so now they travel to Africa to get the pangolin. These people are some real lowlifes, scumbags, and, and that's what I call them because the fact that you're illegally doing it, taking roots to be undetected, you know you're doing something you don't have no business, so stop it. And now with an outbreak, you shouldn't even be thinking about trying to go out here and poach these wild animals. Leave those animals alone and let them live and be. You know, we're on this earth. We have to eat something, of course, naturally. There comes a point when you have got to stop trying to sample. Hello? Everything walking with four feet. Quit playing. Or eight legs, 12 legs. Let it go. It's not that serious. Man is something. Man is the one who thinks of everything to do. How we should look, dress, eat. And he's got him beside himself. And he says, I'm going to go out and pick the wildest looking thing off the planet to eat, to sell, to make money off of. They don't care. And it's sad. It is sad. Because truthfully, that pangolin is an ugly looking animal. And I can't see eating the pangolin, a rat, a cat, a dog, a bat, a monkey. And let me tell you. When I watched that video the other day, it's a YouTube video, and that guy opened that nasty freezer up, it was in Africa, and he pulled that frozen monkey out of there. I said, y'all done lost y'all mind. Not even chopped up. Not even, you know, the way you're supposed to. Chop an animal up and get the meat and chop it up so it looks edible. Just a whole frozen monkey. Whole frozen pangolin. It's so barbaric. It's so barbaric and it's disgusting. So it wouldn't shock me none that we have this virus floating around from an animal to a human. When I saw the way those animals were whole, frozen whole in that nasty, decrepit freezer that was so disgusting, the top of the freezer was brown from God knows what. I thought, this is why we're sick. This is why folks can't breathe. This is why people are on ventilators around the world. Because of this mess and these practices right here. So this is the said information coming out of China. This city is banning the consumption of cats and dogs. Shenzhen, a Chinese city. And we will see how this fare, if it works. I will bring you a said update pertaining to this information. We will see if other cities in China will follow suit to stop the practicing of um, consuming domestic and wild animals. 
poaching of wild animals, the sale of wild animals, and the eating of wild animals and or production to make goods from the wild animals. God bless us. Oh, my goodness. This is baffling to me. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful evening in the high 10. I hope you all are staying safe out there. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Distance yourself. Video chat. Skype. And tell the folks I'll holler at you in a couple of months when everything's a little bit better. God bless you, America. Thank you all for watching. And thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Good night.